Alright guys, let's get into my winter hygiene routine. Before we even get into the products, I do first just want to share my shower head filters because I think this does play a huge role in my skin. I do use the Jolie shower filter. It just helps to clean out the water so that your hair and your skin do not get dried out. I absolutely love it. I've definitely noticed a difference more so in my hair but also in my skin by using a filtered shower head. In my apartment, I also have a detachable shower head, so I'm like, I can't have one filtered shower head and I have another one on the other one, so. <laughs> this is a vitamin C shower filter and it smells like citrus. It's so nice. I got it from a brand called Boesh, I think that's how you pronounce it. And it not only cleans the water, but it also smells really good. So now let's hop into the actual products. First, I'm going to exfoliate my skin with one of my favorites, the Necessaire, the body exfoliator. This is in the bergamot scent, it's literally my favorite favorite it's not a super harsh exfoliator so it's good if you have sensitive skin it has both chemical and physical exfoliants in it which i really love because it after you apply it to your skin it literally just feels like you just got a facial on your body and i literally apply it all over my legs my body my arms my bikini area and after rinsing it oh, you see the glow you see the glow and it also doubles as a cleanser too so next I'm going to use another long favorite. This is Pumice Power from Lush and it's a foot exfoliator. You could obviously use your regular exfoliator on your feet, but why not be fancy and use an exfoliator that's designed for your feet on your feet? <laughs> I've been using this for years, y'all. It smells good. It really does help to scrub away dead skin and callous feet. And just so that I feel confident in my feet, I do use this almost every day. So after exfoliating, I like to shave and I'm going to use the Weeds of the People Sugar Coat Shaving Cream. This is another longtime favorite super creamy it helps me to get a super close and smooth shave and i really only shave my legs i pretty much wax everywhere else and i'm using my honey razor this is my absolute favorite razor it's super sharp though so if you get this you got to be careful with it but it's really good quality and i also love that you can switch out the razor blades so you can actually keep it for a long time next to cleanse my skin i'm going to use the mod wash and i'm using the number one scent which has lemongrass and clove and toka bean it's so warm and sensual i love it so much and it's also really moisturizing so it's gonna cleanse but like not strip your skin out i'm definitely more of a warm scent girly especially in the winter time so this gets me right every time it also doubles as a bubble bath so a great way to add some hydration into your bath i also love that it has a lot of vitamins in so it so many great things to help give your skin some antioxidants which is going to help brighten and moisturize too and you guys know i always have options so another body wash i love is the dove vanilla pampering body wash i just tried this not too long ago and I'm obsessed. I also love the Necessaire, the body wash, the bergamot scent. And this is the Shea Moisture Manuka Honey and Refer Oil Body Bar. Also really good for the winter time. So now to cleanse down there, I'm going to use the Luna Daily, the Everywhere Wash. This is the hydrating formula. If you've been watching me, then you know this has been my favorite literally since I tried it earlier this year. It is so creamy. It does not irritate down there. It uses 0% soap. It's vegan. It's pH balanced. And it also uses prebiotics to help with balancing your microbiome down there. So now hopping out the shower, throwing on my little towel turban, I'm going to burn a candle, of course. This is Sweet Tings. I'm going to link it down below for you guys. And... Before I do anything, I like to use these Pavit ingrown hair pads, of course, on the skin down there because I do get Brazilian waxes and stuff and I get ingrown hairs very easily. So I use these pads to not only prevent ingrown hairs, but also help with disc discoloration from previous ingrown hair. I actually alternate between these pads and the Topicals ingrown hair roller. I like both of them. They do the same thing pretty much. It's just the pads are easier to use sometimes. <laughs> and because these products do use chemical exfoliants, it can make the skin down there a little dry. So I like to apply this fur oil on top of it. And this oil is also designed to help prevent ingrown hair. So now for deodorant, I'm using my fave, the Kosa Sport Chemistry Deodorant. I love it because it's clear, so it's not going to leave, you know, any residue under your arms. It also has chemical exfoliants in it, so it helps to lighten the skin under your underarms over time. I love it because I do get waxes under my underarms, and so preventing 
darkness is a must <laughs> i do alternate between that deodorant and my other favorite the donna karan cashmere mist deodorant this is just grown and sexy it smells so good now for the skin i'm going in with the necessaire the body serum this is a must if you have dry skin i use it as the first layer before anything else it's best to apply it while your skin is still damp because it has hyaluronic acid which grips best to like wet skin now if you want to be fancy the saint jane body serum is also really really good and hydrating it's definitely pricier but it's amazing and to address some of the hyperpigmentation on my skin i do alternate between those two serums or this bright and smooth exfoliating serum by n beauty project it does use chemical exfoliants so i only use this like once or twice a week i always layer my body serum with a body lotion or a body butter i am obsessed with this body butter from osea i just got this brand new one how satisfying is that i've gone through at least four of these since i've tried it and it's especially good for the winter time you can see how thick and creamy it is it glides onto the skin so beautifully and it also layers really nicely with a body serum and of course i'm addressing my elbows because they get very very ashy it's definitely on the pricier side but it is worth every penny in my opinion it has a really light scent it's kind of citrusy you can see frenchy loves it <laughs> it has some really moisturizing ingredients like shea butter ceramides and seaweed and of course i have options so when i'm not using that i'm definitely grabbing my fancy beauty butter drops with oil body cream <sighs> definitely another favorite of mine so moisturizing and smells really good too i also love this skin renewing retinol body lotion from naturium this is one of those products that works over time to help with the skin's texture it can be used every day but because it has retinol i do alternate this one pretty often and if you want a fancier option this hyaluronic intensive body therapy lotion from paracon md Ooh, so moisturizing definitely pricey but it's so good and i don't always use a body oil but this grounding dry body oil from reed and gwen is really good and I can layer it on pretty much any body lotion that I use. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I take good care of my feet all year round, not just when I'm wearing them out in the summer. So I love using this Beauty Pie Footopia Foot and Heel Cream. It is so moisturizing, it's softening, and it also has like a minty tingling sensation to it. It's amazing. I like to layer it with this repeat foot balm. This is from Lush and it's also really good. It has a citrusy scent to it. It's really softening. Is it necessary to use two products on your feet? I think it depends on who you ask. If you're asking me, yes. <laughs> Especially in the winter time because my feet get really dry. I also like to use this um, Amope foot file device. It's an electronic foot file and it really helps to smooth out like calloused heels. I didn't use it today because I didn't really need it today but I will use that if I need to get rid of dead skin on my feet. And then of course just throwing on some socks to let the product sit in yes i know the two different color socks but who cares i'm about to go to bed another foot product alternative that i love is this amope leg and foot serum it's also really moisturizing and you can grab this on amazon so now for my oral care i do have two different toothpaste one that i use in the morning and one that i use at night this is the midnight enamel care toothpaste by moon the only thing that makes this like a nighttime specific toothpaste is that it uses lavender and chamomile to help smooth your gums but other than that it's just like any other toothpaste i don't know the name of my exact toothbrush but it will definitely be linked in the storefront for you guys for mouthwash i'm using this gru nada oil pulling mouthwash that has literally changed the game for me because i used to oil pull with actual coconut oil and while it works it's really disgusting it feels really gross and slimy in your mouth but this actually uses coconut oil to oil pull without feeling super thick and Nasty. and of course it helps to freshen your breath and whiten your teeth and last but not least if you don't put on fragrance before bed what are you doing i'm using this nest perfume oil first on my wrist and on my neck to give me a nice base I love this scent it's so warm and vanilla-y and then on top of that i'm going in with kiehl's signature original musk scent i love it because it has so many nice layers it has bergamot and orange so it's kind of citrusy but it also has rose and lang lang and on the bottom it's like the musk and the patchouli it's like the perfect blend of warm and sweet and after all the body care is done i'll do my skincare and that's it all right, you guys, thank you so much for watching my winter hygiene routine. I definitely meant to do my skincare in this video, but I had technical difficulties. So I'm actually going to post that for you guys next week. Make sure your notifications are on so you don't miss it. The skin is skinning, okay? Just wasn't able to do it today. <laughs> if you enjoy videos like this, of course, give me a thumbs up. Those really help me out. And comment something that you enjoyed about it. I love you guys so much. And I hope that I see you in the next video. Yeah, yeah.